One grenade is all it takes. Look at that. It makes all of Xset back up. You don't need three people up here. You just need one. All right, before we go any further and spill all the secrets, I got good news for you guys. For today's video, we got a sponsor. That's right. This video is brought to you by Rocket League Sideswipe. Do you ever wonder what would happen if you combined really cool cars with the world's most popular sport and your cell phone? <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, wonder no more because you get Rocket League Sideswipe. You can play with your friend in 2v2s, and if you would rather grind on your own, there is also a 1v1 mode. The gameplay itself is easy to learn and fast-paced, but for the hardcore gamers, there is a lot of skill involved, and best part is, there is a competitive mode where you can climb your way up the worldwide leaderboard and seasonal rewards. But if that's not your speed, there are plenty of customizable aesthetic options daily challenges, and oh my god, the music. I absolutely love the music. So give Rocket League Sideswipe a try, click the download link below, and get to swiping. I think I broke my blender. All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the new meta, the one-man army push meta so first i'm going to show you guys an example of the old meta and why it doesn't work and when i say meta that just means you know the strategy that everybody uses so i'll show you guys the old strategy that you know used to work but now as teams are getting better and better it's starting to not work as well and the new meta that it does work if done correctly is the one man push army meta so taking a look at this first clip, we have what I would like to call this the old meta. The one person cover, three people all push together at one spot to try and overtake the enemy. So this is right now a 4v3 situation. Uh, STE has two players here and you can see over here they have a third player at the tower. So. Overall, it's a 4v3. The last player of STE, I actually don't know where he is, and he doesn't show up. So let's see what happens. Enigma so Galaxy, as we play the clip, a a there. instantly one person gets grenaded. Now you could say this is lucky that STE got a grenade. But if you think about it, if you send three people to crash one area, the chances of one person getting grenaded becomes very likely and as you can see with these teams as they get better and better they get those grenades ready for a crash they don't just peek out and shoot instantly they get the grenades ready we see a lot of top teams start doing this more and more often now back to the clip so one player does get uh, grenaded you can say it was unlucky you can say it was lucky but when you have three people crashing on one area the chances of you getting grenaded become much higher now as the players try and keep pushing this i think phase just makes a mistake right they go for a revive this is another common mistake with the three man push meta when a player gets knocked you think a benefit of having another teammate with you is that you could get revived but i've seen so many times when you commit to a push when you commit to that fight if in the beginning of the fight your teammate gets knocked the chances of you being able to get a revive off safely and then that player also healing and then redoing the push is very very unlikely so this is a false sense of security to have multiple players with you so if one of you get knocked you could get revived so many times like i said if a player gets knocked on your team their chances of you getting a full revive off is very unlikely so phase makes a mistake here very able and then to you can see Go for a crash because that player is getting revived behind the a tree, Lovely they do manage to get another knock on them. At this connect. point, it is just, it's, it's pretty much all MR5. over. Two people of STE manage to shut down this push. Phase just has two up. The third player goes down. The fourth player of Phase, he couldn't do much. 
one person covering Face from one angle. Down. So this person was covering from this angle, right? So STE adjusted by sending one player to the second floor. And the other player just stayed on the top, but he just made sure to play on the opposite side where the player covering can't do anything. So when you have one player covering from one angle, it lets the enemy defense adjust very easily. All they have to say is, be careful of that hillside. And then they just play accordingly, right? If we back Please. a little bit during this fight, Look. you can see this player on top of here has cover and this player he just got on the side of the roof over here on this side making this phase player completely useless and like i said this revive you can almost never do a revive successfully so this is the old meta okay it used to work when teams aren't as good at defending and it also used to work when teams don't know how to support their teammates or react fast enough to support their teammates. But here, you can see the defense instantly, a pre-grenade. The defense instantly, they get on the other side of the cover so they don't get knocked by the one player supporting the face back lines from that angle on top of the hill. And thirdly, well, the defense just adjusted really quickly and it shut down this four-man push as a three-man team. Now we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys an example of the one-man army meta, the one-man push meta, and why it works so much better. So up next, here we have Alpha 7 versus Xset. Now Alpha 7, if you guys didn't know, is one of the top teams in the Americas region. They're like, they're the best team, I would say. Coming out of Americas, they got first place. And currently right now in PMGC West, they're also like in the top three, will probably be number one by the end of the week. Or by the time this video comes out, they're already number one. So let's take Trying a look at the one man army push meta. So instantly right now, Something you want to notice is they have three people covering from different angles. What this does is it kind of makes the enemy team not be able to react as well. Keep in mind, when you have, if you had three people all pushed to one area, right? Like we saw in the phase clip, the enemy defense can react very easily. They know, okay, there's three people right in front of me. I just have to worry about these three and the one player covering. Well, I'll just ignore him and make sure not to play on that side. Pretty easy for the enemy to adjust. You have to think of it from the enemy's point of view, right? It's a lot easier to react to three people pushing you right in front of you and how you should play that versus three people covering from a bunch of different angles and then one player pressuring you, right? It kind of forces you to just stay low and stay you know, not active when there's so many angles. Now, let's keep playing this clip. So, you'll notice first, Kareel pushes up by himself. This is the one-man army meta. Now, what happens? What is What does the enemy do? Instantly, grenades, right? If we had three people push up together right here, the grenade is so much likely to hit, right? But if you just have one player pushing, the chances of that player getting grenaded become a lot less than when you have three people pushing. And when you do have three people pushing, like I so showed in the phase example, if one of them gets knocked to a grenade, the advantage you, of you having a second player to go for that revive is pretty much pointless. That player will probably not be able to get revived in full to heal, You'll also probably get knocked. The enemy will get aggressive off of that initial knock. In the so here, as well, means the first the player pushes Carrillo. And now, small detail. Notice what Carrillo does. He pushes up closer, but he doesn't push up into a very obvious position, right? He doesn't push up right next to Exit. He pushes a little bit further away, making it a little bit harder for Xset to pinpoint and throw the grenades in. And you want to make sure you're not really catching a lot of eyes upon Now you. notice this. Carrillo, one-man army, right? One grenade 
onto the enemy defense forces all of these enemies back. Just one player. That's all you need. You just only need one player with one grenade to force the enemy defense back down. So this kind of works the same way when pushing in a building, right? If all of the enemies, or let's just say two enemies, like in the phase example, they're at the building, you just need one player to throw grenades in that building, and then the enemy is just suddenly pressured back. They either have to jump out and push you, and if they do jump out and push you, You'll see soon here, when Exit tried to react to this grenade and fight back and start peeking him, Exit the angles come into play. So one grenade Exit, is all it takes. It Look at like that. Quite, uh, it makes all of Exit back up. You don't need point, three people like up here. You just need one. Together, but Carrillo, he needs Carrillo, of course, playing very well. So in. one grenade creates enough space. Three. And Carrillo, finally, I Exit mean, can't really peek him because yes. he's got... Oh, sorry. He's got three teammates... In the back line, supporting his quite close, angles. But I don't really know. Now watch. Here's the second player. After you do the one-man army push meta, you do the second one-man army push meta. You send the second player closer up, but at a different angle to cover him. All right? Over the rest of the now once you get that him, player yeah, in position, back lines, trying his best to give this looks like a 2v4, but it's but not. Is that going to be helpful? That's the question. Now Exet get a little bit aggressive right, and try and peek Carrillo. Some shots blank, missed there. Carrillo gets a little the bit aggressive there. More grenades come in. You see Exet, they're all still clumped together. They can't do much. What you're wanting from A7 to step up because Polo... Kill switch goes down has... and instantly you still got Cinetex at this angle. The second two teammates come up. Revil's pushing up at this angle. And of course, the area that's the most dangerous is the area right next to the enemy. So the third and final player pushes up with Carrillo to help him out. See, wait for them to move around. And you can see the rest of this around. fight right it's here. It's a two on the back end. Well, they shoot first. And it's just the all ones starting to break it's apart for Exet. And just like that, no Exet is finished. The one-man push meta. It's honestly the new strategy. It's what all the teams should be working towards. It's really hard to do. Everybody needs to know what they're doing. Everybody needs to be playing correctly. So it is difficult. The old meta still works in certain situations against some teams that aren't as good or set up as well defensively. But I'm telling you guys, this one-man push army meta is going to be the new thing coming into the next year. And the top teams right now are already doing it. So that's the Zutate lesson for today. I hope you guys learned something. And of course, thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Rocket League Sideswipe. Thank you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'll be doing more of these video. This one honestly didn't take too long. I've just been a lazy bum, but I got this one done. So let me know if you guys liked it and comment down below what video or what region should I look at next to do an analysis breakdown?